hello hello welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hello and welcome to my channel so I have here my passion planner which is getting so full because I cannot believe we're in December I kind of talked about that in the previous video but I'm saying it again so what I'm gonna do here is my weekly spread of course I have this small planner which starts on a Monday and I have all my post-its here it's just an easier way for me to be able to know what's happening during the week rather than writing it in pencil and then have to erase it and then all the complicated things I'm going to be mixing and matching some of these stickers as you can see some of my stickers are very much used um, getting through those stickers books as much as I can plus I'm gonna be using my icon stickers these are the two brands that I've been using which I have to replenish many of them soon and I'm gonna be mixing up these washi tapes as well they kind of have the same color feel that I would like so gonna definitely do that so first thing I'm gonna do is actually white out these sections just because those washi tapes are extra transparent so I want to make sure that you can see the colors and you don't see the black in between so let me just go ahead and white out some of these sections So I'm going to go ahead and add in some of these washies. I am going to be mixing and matching, um, but mostly using this one that kind of has like a rose gold foil on it. And as you can see, it is still very transparent, even with the white out under it. But anyways, I still love the colors. So what I'm going to do is actually add in some more of these in different sections and get back into planning. So now that I have everything kind of laid out as far as like borders and stuff, I'm going to go ahead and actually do my time blocking. So the reason I've been doing time blocking is that it really helps to see where I have the open spaces to be able to add in more things. So for example, I do have days where I have my full on 12 hour shifts. Obviously those days are a little bit harder to fit in things just because I do need rest and recovery to be able to continue doing that but on the days that I do have off having this time blocked plan and being able to see everything definitely helps and also I just noticed that I did not white out these sections so <laughs> And just an FYI, at the beginning of the year, I had made out these blocks that has, I, or let me just say, I used to write in all of my workouts just on the top of the page, not really emphasizing at what time that was going to happen. Um, so they still remain on here. So I'm just going to go ahead and white it out really quick with my gel pen. But talking about or going back to talking about um, the time blocking while I'm doing this um, it is one of the most 
like important things or beneficial things that's a better word to say for it when it comes to you know trying to figure out your schedule and trying to figure out what you can and cannot do because many times we just go into the general I don't have time or it's just not possible or whatever the circumstance is but when you do something like this with time blocking it definitely helps for you to see those gaps in your day that you can utilize for different things let's say take a moment to read take a moment to do a workout take a moment to go for a walk take a moment to meditate whatever it is you are most likely going to be able to find those times when you do something like this when you actually time block and see where those gaps are in your day Obviously, there's going to be days that are completely filled and that is 100% okay. That is, you know, a way of you seeing how you're utilizing your time during your days. So it's just an awesome benefit to be able to utilize something like this and see where those gaps are, where you can fill them in with things that matter most to you. So this is just an input whenever I talk about time blocking. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this up really, really quick.
everything is added as far as my time blocked sections with meetings and work and all the things, I'm gonna go ahead and write out or draw out my quote of the week. This is usually on the sorry on the right side of my page bottom section that has this really big open space i really love adding like a quote of the week something that i can focus on something that is inspiring and plus it just lets me be creative every single week with this section so what i'm gonna do is actually draw it out with my pencil and then obviously go in with it with my marker so let me just do this really quick section this is usually where I add in my own tracker for my coaching business so I love that these already have the lines kind of like an outline already and all I do is basically do like other lines to basically make and have a tracker obviously there's so many different ways or so many different um, yeah, so many different ways that you can use these bottom sections to your advantage. And this is something that I've been using for, I don't even know, maybe the past two years for my business and it has worked. So if something works, it's better to not change it, right? So this is just a place where I'm able to track my progress, track how I'm working, how I'm doing my business and see where I'm able to improve if you know because sometimes I write down numbers as far as like progress numbers so definitely is a good insight week by week how I'm doing so again this is just an idea of how you can utilize this bottom section but there's countless ways you can even cover this whole section up and write the quote on this side and use the other side for something else so I'm just gonna go ahead finish this up really really quick So 
so now that I have everything important already <laughs> written down as far as obviously my schedule, my tracker, and my quote, what I'm going to do now is actually have some fun with some stickers. And one of my go-tos is this whole Sunday section. I actually white out unless I actually have an event happening that week. But usually what I do is write down my goals for the week. And talking about goals, it is so important whenever you are, you know, planning out a week or you know trying to figure out what's happening soon ish um, it is important to actually set some goals something that you want to work on something that you are striving for just something that you know keeps you in let's say the right lane for you to achieve something that you're passionate about and it's so important to have them written down somewhere visible because obviously we can set goals in our brains but our brains are not always super reliable to remind us so if you have a space in your planner I highly recommend adding a section where it has all of your goals it doesn't have to be this big I just like to make it an emphasis so it's definitely bigger than usual but um, what I'm gonna do now is obviously continue with the, my stickers I did just put um, two little to-do boxes. I'm definitely going to be rearranging them a little bit or redecorating them a little bit in a second, but I'm just going to go ahead, have some fun with some stickers, make it a little bit more cheerful, more bright, and yeah, just have some fun.
is my finished weekly spread. I am so excited how it turned out. I have my gratitude section, my to-dos, my tracker, more to-dos, my goals. Obviously, I'll be filling all of this in once I finish filming just because many things have to do with clients. And obviously, I don't want their names out here in the open. But I'm so excited. I'm still really loving this color combo with those stickers that I've been doing for the past few weeks and that is okay. Obviously there's a little bit of change in the layouts but it's usually my go-to. Anyways, hopefully this was inspiring. Hopefully you like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you here for another video very soon. Bye!